I've done video game characters through etching. I've done like Yoshi, Mario. I did company logos, and then uh, a few years ago, I got really into free pours. So I started doing a lot of hearts, tulips, rosettas, which led to the designs that I pour today. First ever U.S. latte art champion. Fifteen baristas threw their mugs into the ring this spring for a shot at the title for the most creative design drawn with steamed milk over espresso. The art has picked up steam in recent years, and last month in Seattle, Sidney and Bricker was crowned the first U.S. latte art champion. He'll go on to compete at the World Championships in Melbourne, Australia this week. There's so much pressure going into the World Latte Art Championship. Um, that's huge to be one of the first representatives of the United States there. Four judges wielding clipboards poured over submissions ranging from hearts to rosettas and even a rabid bat. A lot of people do this inverted tulip where they start a tulip and then they flip the cup and they finish it up through and they kind of meet in the middle. I was playing around on St. Patty's one day and I did that design, the tulip, all the way through and then I put a shamrock at the top and as soon as I finished I saw that it was just like an awesome bat and I was like there I gotta do that I've, that's the design that I'm gonna go with but despite all the hard work every barista knows they're only as good as their last cup you know you put something down that's really spectacular and uh, in a few moments it's gone